Hey everyone and welcome to Zhao Liocho Island. We asked some of you guys what we should do around Kaohsiung and some of you guys said this, so now we are here. And getting here as foreigners was a little challenging. We thought you could just uh, take the train, then catch a bus. The bus just didn't come, so we had to take an Uber. Then we finally got to the island after taking a short ferry ride, which was really nice super fast boat like kind of bounced around it's pretty fun anyways we got to the island got to our homestay which is called the going homestay it's pretty nice and i like the family but we found out right when we arrived that nowhere here takes foreign credit cards or debit cards so we had no money to pay for the hotel we had no money to get around do anything eat and we were like uh what are we gonna do and our hotel took us to the banks, they didn't take foreign cards. Eventually she helped us by going to a, another hotel that ran her card and gave us the cash in place. So we did get it figured out, but definitely don't be like us, come prepared. Uh, take the, what was it, 9117 bus? No. Oh, Alan knows. Yeah, there's a 9127D that runs directly to the Donglu ferry port. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, the 9117 is unreliable, as is the 9117A that didn't come at all. So. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure what happened there, but uh, yeah, take that, take the ferry, and bring lots of cash, because we are definitely not prepared. Uh, we're going to be here for two days, and we're going to show you guys all around the island. It's really popular to rent scooters and stuff here, but uh, we got in a scooter accident a while ago, so we don't really want to do that. We're going to be walking, <laughs> but it's really small, so... Should Only go easily. takes an hour to go from one side to the other. Yeah, we love hiking and stuff, so it's gonna work out great. So let's go. Okay, so something you'll notice is they have sea turtles all Everything over sea for turtles. sale here. It's a big sea turtle island. We're actually about to walk to the best spot on the island for sea and sea turtles. I'm so excited. So I hope we get to see some turtles. <laughs> <laughs> see some sea you turtles. See what I did there. Yeah. yeah, I know. This is probably the most famous spot here. This is called Vase Rock. I guess it kind of looks like a vase. <laughs> I know, people like it. Tons of tourists come out here and it's also a great place to see the sea turtles. And uh, doing some sort of construction right now. It's like every time you pull the mics out, there's just gotta be noise. Every time. <laughs> no silence. And go. Okay. This is what I'm saying. We just tried to do another take. <laughs> They're like, you turn the camera on. Camera time. <laughs> I'm so sad we can't both go snorkeling at the same time. I can't leave the camera behind. Yeah. There he is. How was it? Uh, super good. Yeah, really? Yeah, I don't think you'd like it. Too murky? Super murky. <laughs> Super surgy. Right uh, on the rocks, but the turtles out there are enormous. Yeah, I got a few shots of them by you. They're like... It seems like the waves are kind of like pushing you into them. Yeah, that's right. It's definitely <laughs> like kept pushing me and the turtles don't care. Yeah, the turtles, turtles are so chill. Yeah, they just like smack into you and I was trying not to touch them. <laughs> Luckily I didn't, but yeah, it was super cool. Awesome. Any good coral or anything? Uh, the coral's okay. Like you can tell it's very touristed and people are like touching the reef and stuff. Ah, oh, bummer. Including the like tour guides are like grabbing the reef no. to like take people's pictures and hold on. But I don't know, they'll get they'll get with it eventually, right? Yeah. It's it's I guess tourism's pretty new here. Yeah. Yeah. Big tourism anyway. You could see more if you stayed out, but Yeah, there were so many from the shore. Yeah, we got more to see today, so Yeah. I I'm happy though. That was pretty cool. Awesome. They're, they're some of the biggest sea turtles I've ever seen.
So if you keep going on Vase Rock Beach, you'll see a set of stairs that take you up to the Vase Rock Trail, which connects you to the Beauty Cave area. You can also ride a bike or a motorcycle or whatever on the road. Yeah, this is perpendicular to the road, so if you're a pedestrian, this is a nice little spot to pull off onto so you're not walking on the road. I think you meant parallel, but yeah. yeah I think that's what I meant. People at home know what you mean. It goes by the road. Yes, I just misspoke. Yes. Oh, look. Hmm. It's a poisonous tree. Yeah. This one ticket that you pay 120 for gets you into Beauty Cave, which we're about to go to, Shanfu Eco Corridor, Shenj Pugu, probably butchered that, sorry, and Black Ghost Cave. Sweet. Yeah. We're hoping to see a bunch of these, so, if not all of them. They punch out, sir. It's only good for one visit to each one. Bummer. Yeah. So. Oh well. well, make it count. <laughs> yeah, make it count. So this one is Beauty Cave, and I guess there's a little walk down here. I also go to Beauty Beach, so. Oh, I'm excited to see that. Yeah, and this place also has cute little cats that are really friendly. Look at this cat. Hey! <laughs> Did it just like headbutt you? Yeah. Aggress- oh! Hi, buddy. <laughs> Gotta just ram that Tamra, huh, kitty? So I guess we made it to Beauty Cave already. Yeah, there was like a 10 foot walk. <laughs> it's a little cave. <laughs> the texture of this is interesting. This is uh, old coral, right? Looks like, like it. Fossilized coral. Yeah. It's pretty neat. That was pretty cool. Fun little side mission. Yeah. Do I look scary? <laughs> okay, that's kind of scary. There used to be a cave here but it collapsed, clearly. Mm -hmm. They filled it in even. Maybe don't walk on it. Whoa! There's lots of these. This is cool. Yeah. And down this way is Beauty Beach. Wonderful. Watch your step. deep down here. What is down there? It's a super deep cave going down to the ocean. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you got me all excited. There's a beautiful pavilion, but as of right now, it looks like they're just finishing up construction on it. Bummer, but you still get a nice view over the ocean. We saw it kind of perched over the cliff edge and it looked really cool. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens to this island. I guess during COVID, there was a big boom in domestic tourism because the Taiwanese couldn't travel to other countries. So it really, really, really came up fast. And since the country's opened again, there's been a huge drop off in tourism. And Guess you can we'll see. see stuff getting built all over, but I just, I don't know. We'll see if it gets see finished. See if it lasts. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. The water is so pretty. Look at that. Whoa. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is a sea turtle right here. It's a giant sea turtle. Yeah, he's huge. <laughs> There's a lot of turtles here. I've read there's supposed to be 1,000 on this island. Wow. I know. Oh, look, free divers. Oh, I see them. Do you know free diving's a big sport here, too? Yeah, I read about that. They have a free diving festival. Mm -hmm. I wish we could be here for it. Maybe one year. Maybe. I should just go swim out and say what's up, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. Okay. Thank you. Adieu. They do check the tickets. Yeah, they do. Ooh. It's really nice on the road. They have all these water refill stations with cold water and hot water. Isn't that neat? So you don't need to pack it all out with you. I think that's really nice. 
some ways down the road is Beauty Beach. It sure is beautiful. It is really beautiful. This is supposed to be another great place to find sea turtles. Awesome. Are you going to get back in the water here or are you skipping this one? I think I was just going to look. Okay. Yeah, as much as I want to, I really want to go free dive with those guys out there, but <laughs> I don't have fins. Yeah. Oh, they lend out dive floats for free. Wow. Because they don't want you to get hit by boats. That's wow. so nice. Oh, they even have free diving stuff. Oh, wow. Okay, this next spot we're going down on our circle around the island is called the Shanfu Ecological Trail, right? Yeah. Shanfu. Okay. It goes down, down, down the cliffside into some old military ruins. That'll be cool to see. I'm not sure where the ecological part comes in, but there is a beautiful view of the ocean. So yeah, maybe, maybe it's just kind of like... There's a beach or something. Yeah. Is this the ecology corridor? Yeah, this is the ecology corridor. Man. Yeah, I know, you can't walk it. Looks like it's closed. I wonder why. I bet it eroded. Oh, uh, yeah, that wouldn't be too surprising. These yeah. signs do look a little aged. Yeah, and this whole area seems geologically unstable. Yeah, for sure. Let's keep going. And if um, you're coming here, I just wanted to point out, this place has really great facilities. They've had toilets at most of the stops. They have those water refilling stations that we showed you. Um, they even have like free rental equipment if you're planning on going diving. They have like dive markers, like everything has been so nice. The roads are new and there's not too many scooters. So it's been really nice to actually walk and be able to see everything. I, I'm definitely glad we decided to do this on foot. Like maybe if you were only here for a day, I'd do one of the scooter rentals. But if not, and you have the time, do it as a walk, it's nice. It's hot though, <laughs> it's very hot out. Also along the walking path, we've run across a bunch of little restaurants and stuff. So you're not for one. Down behind me is Shanfu Fishing Harbor, which is, you know, I don't think of any interest to tourists. It maybe is like a scuba diving point. I know some of the schools go out of here. Um, you can see there's actually a dive boat right there and some people coming in from doing scuba walking oh, up I on the shore. Yeah. yeah, but you know, if you're just like sightseeing like we are today, I don't think there's much down there. It's a nice vista right here. We're at some bar that seems closed at this moment, but they let you walk out onto this, which is kind of neat. But I think we're gonna skip going down there for right now. Because yeah. it's, <laughs> we're not scuba diving today. Yeah, not today. It's funny, this spot reminds me of the Philippines, like when we did our road trip. Should be like anywhere. <laughs> We're not very far from it, so. True. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of a place 400 miles away. Yeah, yeah for sure. Right. The next land mass is the Philippines. Set of islands. You got the tickets? Yeah. Shishé. Shishé. Found the next spot. Everyone out here has been so friendly. I feel like the further you get off the tourist path, everybody's like, what are you doing here? Hey, like ready to talk, waving, <laughs> welcoming us. It's really nice. This is oh, really cool too. This is really cool. I gotta say, it's really pretty back here. It's totally worth Beautiful. the price of admission. Oh yeah. I know I was a little skeptical with like how touristy like Vase Rock was, but this is so cool. Yeah, I've never seen anything quite like this with the steep 
walls all colonized by vines. This place is just gorgeous. I love this trail. There's so much greenery. Like the plants are literally spilling down the walls. It's like a waterfall of greenery. Just gorgeous. Super well maintained, easy to walk. I love this. And only a moderate amount of mosquitoes. Yeah, there are a lot of mosquitoes. And uh, uh, if you haven't caught on to a theme here, we're not very prepared <laughs> for this trip. <laughs> and we forgot bug spray. <laughs> so bring bug spray, don't be like us. I think the mosquitoes do carry some diseases in Taiwan, though I don't think malaria, so that's a plus. Why does nobody ever make candles that smell like this? Like jungle? Like jungle. I don't know. Maybe we should. Oh, it smells hey, so we good. could start a merch line with, with candles from our travels. Mm. Taiwanese jungle. Taiwanese street food gutter. <laughs> it is funny, sometimes when you're eating the street food, the gutters do waft up and you're like, oh! Look at this trail. It's clear there. Oh, there's actually a path here still. Are you supposed to go on it? Looks well trodden enough. All right, well, that was a pretty cool hiking spot, but now we gotta walk our way over to Venice Beach. I don't know why they call it that, but it's, it's just down the road. It's supposed to be a really nice beach. Water, beer, buy slippers, scent punch, bikini, beach shorts, plate. Is this Venice Beach? Because yeah. that says Gibon Bay. It's the same thing, Gibon Bay. Okay, That's Gibon the, Bay. the local name. I see, I see. Gibon Bay. Oh, it's a beach. nice, like, sandy beach. I think the biggest one we've seen. Yeah. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to go swimming here. It's illegal because there's been too many drownings. It does look like there is quite a current. I'm, I wouldn't really be surprised. Yeah. Yeah. But it uh, looks like, you know, people are going tide pooling. Is that what that is? I think so. They're huddled so tight, I wasn't sure. Yeah, probably somebody picked up, like, a sea, fit, so your sea star or something. Like, oh, hey, maybe look. that's it. What do you think of Venice Beach? It's beautiful. Very beautiful. Shame you couldn't go in the water though. Yeah, that is a shame, but I think they just want to keep everybody safe here. So they have a lot of precautions when it comes to like the water or hiking trails or really anything except the traffic. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the biggest hazard in Taiwan for sure. And I'm not the only one that said that. A lot of you guys have mentioned in the comments that traffic can be crazy, so look out for it. But yeah, the beach was nice and it's getting to be evening time, but there is still one more spot on today's adventure, and then we're gonna complete the loop tomorrow. I hope this path takes us there, but it didn't have any signs, so I don't know for sure, but. I would think it would. Yeah. We'll see. We'll, we'll find out for you, so you don't have to. There is like no information on this place in English online, it's crazy. I'm just starting to get spooked. There's like these like creepy statues around and this next place is like gonna be haunted as haunted gets. And it's starting to get dark and mist rain. Shishi. We did it. We made it. We got all our holes punched. Wow. That's a fulfilling day of adventures. I know. Okay, so this last spot we're in is called the Black Devil Cave, which has sort of a grim history. I am not an expert on this. I read it on Wikipedia and then like a placard up there. I guess in the 1600s, the Dutch shipwrecked not once but twice here, and all the survivors were killed by the natives. So in retaliation, the Dutch East Indies Company sent in a whole bunch of soldiers and rounded up everybody here and sort of forced them into this cave and plugged up all the holes and burned a bunch of like 
poisonous stuff until they all suffocated. And reports say between 300 and everybody on the island was killed by the Dutch. And to this day, there are no natives left on the island. So it's kind of a grim story. Yeah, dark history here for sure. Yeah, but the cave itself may have collapsed already. We tried going down through and so far, like, it was just filled with like rubble and stuff so we gotta check the exit yeah yeah so we're gonna try another way yeah let's try that and i don't really f know how i feel about running around in all these caves that continually collapse okay. this is scary i saw little kids in here are you sure this is worth going in uh yeah if you want to come down in here or you can hand me the camera it's okay, I can scoot unless you don't want to go further. I don't want to go under this shelf. Okay. Like it uh, does not intrigue me. Okay, here. Are you supposed to go all the way in this? Um, you know, I think it wasn't like this at a time. Okay. The ceiling is only like a few feet tall. How are people in here? Uh, well, you it's a big room down here. Okay. It's just I have like... It's okay. We don't it's need like to go clearly through. collapsed ahead. Yeah, like, it's not worth it. <laughs> We only joke about risking our lives for YouTube. <laughs> yeah, like it's not. Okay, we'll it's get out of here. Worth it at all. Like I could see how at a time it was bigger, but the path that goes that side, it's like the entire like wall and ceiling. So it is collapsed. in fact collapsed. Yeah, it's collapsed. Okay. I wasn't expecting this cave to be a full hike too. like they used to have stairs that went up this way too. Yeah, it seems like this uh, set of trails on this island is ever changing. Yeah. We've definitely seen multiple collapsed trail areas and caves and stuff. Yeah. I wouldn't linger in any of them. <laughs> I know. You know, it probably doesn't help the trees that grow on this stuff. Like the banyan trees or whatever, probably get in the Get their roots in there, yeah. Spread it. A trail loops you all around to like the cave exit. Yeah. Is this place even open right now? It closes at six. Oh, okay. Everyone else is just smart and caught the bus. Yeah. Okay, that was the Black Devil or Black Spirit Cave. We did decide not to go further in it because here I saw how much stuff was collapsed and uh, we don't want to be down there when it inevitably happens again. But anyways, we are now going to walk approximately two miles back in the dark and probably the rain. So we're probably not going to film it, but we're going to show you some of the food and stuff that's in town. We got into town a little bit before dark. This is about halfway between the two sections of the island and right by the ferry port. You can kind of see one taking off right now. We're gonna show you some of the food that's around the city. Okay, there's a place we wanna try that does like shave ice. Mm -hmm. They do shave ice differently in a lot of Asia. Yeah, in Taiwan, it's supposed to be something you have to try. We haven't tried it yet. Yeah. Where are we gonna sit? I don't know, down at the harbor, I guess. So, we got this passion fruit shave ice that I was super excited to try. And you can see here, it is like they froze passion fruit juice into the ice and then shaved it. And then put passion fruit puree on top. And also what looks like some sort of a jelly. I think it's an aloe jelly. It's so delicious. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can see why this place has such good ratings and they were like, you gotta buy some and like hustled us out the door. It's like... I don't think you explained that very well. <laughs> Hold on. It's super good. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. So what Alan was trying to say is this place is extremely, extremely popular and they want you to order one 
uh, one dish per person if you're gonna sit there and eat it. I think because they get so congested. So mm -hmm. we did take away because we only really wanted one. We only need one. Yeah. It's a really big serving. But it's so tart and delicious and sweet. And the fresh fruit flavor comes through just amazingly. And the little aloe jelly bits too are like this perfect contrast to the ice texture. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. This puts a lot of desserts to shame. <laughs> That's really good. You can tell they used fresh passion fruit juice to make this. This is like the perfect dessert. Like it's so refreshing and it's not too sweet. It's like they just used passion fruit juice. All right, Alan. Was it worth the 150? Oh yeah, 150 is what, uh, four, three something? Yeah. A little expensive for Taiwan. It's like $5 but, for yeah. Taiwan. It's a luxury. But it's huge, yeah, and it's a luxury dessert for sure. Cool. Alan's oh, staring at me drooling, so yeah. we're gonna eat there. <laughs> Okay, we made our way all the way down to the end of the island and we're gonna continue our way up the coastline. And first stop is the spot. I don't remember the name. It's called Guanyin Rock. Guanyin Rock. It's one of the most popular places to come take your photo. Uh, you can actually see there's some girls there taking their photo in the middle of the road. Yeah, definitely be careful when you do that because we saw somebody almost get taken out by one of the scooters. <laughs> so uh, do it with caution. Yeah, also down uh, from here are a few other famous scenic rocks, if you will. Yeah. So uh, they look like rats and uh, birds or something like that. You got to use your imagination. But yeah. We'll, we'll show them to you as we pass yeah. them by. That's going to be the first thing we check out on our way back down the coast. Yeah. Let's go. All right. This is another one of the famous rocks. I can't really tell what it's supposed to look like. That yeah. one I would guess like maybe uh, like an eagle or maybe a chicken. I'd think maybe like a frog. I like could maybe, see a frog. Maybe like that's its lip and its eyeball. Like its head. And it's yeah. kind of like sitting like a frog. Like that's its like butt kind of. Yeah, I see it. I see yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, there is something that's written on this that says what it's supposed to be, right? Yeah, but you know. Okay, open and open to interpretation. Yeah, it's a. I can tell you for sure. It looks like a rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe <laughs> tell us in the comments what it you think it looks like, right? Yeah. Or it's supposed to look like. <laughs> Who knows? There, there are more rocks like this down here too, and they're all really famous. Look at all these tourists out here. I know. If you didn't know any better. You'd think Taiwan was a nation of geologists. <laughs> Another famous rock. <laughs> Literally right next to that famous rock. Yeah. I uh, think this one's supposed to look like a rat. I could kind of see it. Like the nose up here, and then it has the eye here and the head. I could see it. So we just checked, and these are two big sites on the island, the White Lighthouse and the ancient Banyan tree. And it should only take about 15 minutes walking from where we're standing to go see him so we're Let's gonna go. go check him out real quick cool is there something significant about this banyan tree uh, i just think it's ancient it's okay a really big so it's banyan really tree. old yeah it's pretty cool yeah neat is that the secret beach yeah that's secret beach down there oh we're gonna go to that after this yeah yeah that's cool being up here actually at low tide because you can see all of the reef that's been pulled out. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's it. That's the best, uh, best diving on the island. Wow. At least shore diving that you can get to. This is the White Lighthouse. That's right. It's uh, shorter than I expected. Yeah, it's not very big, but I guess it doesn't need to be. Yeah. I guess this tower was built by the Japanese in 1929. Wow. It's pretty old. It's almost 100 years old. Okay, 
now that we've seen both of those, which are both really close together, so fairly easy to walk up to, and if you're biking, totally worth a quick quick stop. Yeah. But um, now we got to hike back down and go find that secret beach that we just were looking at from above. That lookout was kind of cool. Yeah, it was. The yeah. lookout was worth it. Yeah. It was, it was not a bad walk, though. If you're hiking, maybe if you're on a tight schedule, I'd skip it, but if you're biking or scootering, why not? <laughs> I believe this spot is called Secret Beach. It's really nice. It has this little like cove that's cut out where you can come relax. A lot of people have brought their kids here. They have SUPs and clear kayaks and stuff for rent just across the street. No fins though, we yes. asked. No fins, yeah. Yes, do you rent fins? Uh, like, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I have to swim the old fashioned way. Old fashioned way, dang. We used to travel with things, but they take up so much room. Anyways, Alan's probably gonna take the GoPro out into the ocean again, and I once again have the camera, so maybe I'll go after him. I'll see how I'm feeling. I hope I find a sea turtle. Yeah, I mean, there's so many people out. I think we would be fine. Yeah. And the water looks a lot calmer on this side. It does. I think I might see a sea turtle right by those kids kayaking. There's something in the water. A shark? A shark. <laughs> How was the snorkeling? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. Pretty Anything cool? Sea turtle. Ooh. I also saw an eel that Ooh. was striped. It was like uh, red and white. Ooh, that must have been cool. There's lots of cool little caves in there too. Oh. The way the reef is, it's got some uh -huh. like stripes. Yeah. And there's well, basically like what you see up here. The channels. Like channels. Yes. And the channels are connected. There's scuba divers going through those, so I followed them for a bit. And then the coral itself is actually in pretty good condition. Really? Not perfect, but pretty good. Okay. That was super cool, but we have just a few more things to see. Yep, let's go. <laughs> it's like a floating boat. Motorbike life. I know, they are very uh, creative with how they can get things on those motorbikes. <laughs> Okay, so if you take the public ferry, this is where you'll come into. It's the center of the island, uh, and it's just, you know, more local. It's more geared towards fishing and less towards tourism. You can see, you know, back behind us, a bunch of fishing boats, and mm -hmm. it's got a lot more industrial feel yeah, to it. Yeah, this area is very industrial. <laughs> has it been the nicest to walk around? I'd probably catch a cab or something. Yeah, yeah, if I were a tourist, uh, I probably wouldn't come here as my first choice. I'd go explore the beautiful nature parks of the island. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Is this called the Sunrise Pavilion, it said? Yeah, Sunrise Pavilion. Okay. It's uh, just kind of a park you stop off at and watch the sunrise. Got it. There was one that we didn't uh, stop by called the Sunset Pavilion at the very end tip of the island, but we're not going to hit that one today. Yeah. So, nice. there you go. This is it. Got a nice view. We just made it to Lobster Cave. Yeah. I don't know anything about it myself. Just outside of town is a, another cave. And I guess this one is an oceanic cave. Okay. So you gotta maybe climb down a rope to get into it. There's not a lot of information online. I think that dude recognized us from YouTube. Really? Yeah. Did he say anything? He said YouTube. We found ourselves included in a tour group. Yeah, I know he, he showed us the secret way to the beach. Ah, I see. I would have never come down here. No, definitely not. This banyan tree is really cool. Yeah, it's beautiful. I just, I would have thought this was like private property. So right next to the lobster 
Lobster Cave. Lobster Cave. I was gonna call it Lobster Bay. Lobster Cave. Is this like kind of actually secret beach area? I don't know what it's called, but um, some guy walked up and he's like, oh, go this way. And he showed us this very secret entrance to this secret beach and it's pretty cool. It is Without him, cool. I would have never come down here. Yeah, there's like a million dragonflies mm -hmm. and all these lush vines. On these the, like caves, yeah, the caves with the old military bunkers. Pretty neat. Yeah. Oh, look, scuba divers. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a popular place to learn scuba and free dive too. Benefit to walking everywhere. You run into stuff that you just don't expect. We found this little show. It seemed like some sort of celebration. They had fireworks and people in costumes. They were on stage performing. It's really fun, but uh, I don't know what it was. So if anybody could tell us, we were really curious, but of course it's all in Chinese, so we don't know. If you could leave it in the comments, we'd appreciate that. It'd be cool to learn what that whole show or celebration is about, yeah. Or maybe it's just something they're putting on like a local community thing, I don't know. I mean, I recognize some of the figures now, mm -hmm. right? Like, it's some of the characters, like they're, uh, uh -huh. I don't know what you want to call them, like gods, but they're not like gods, because they're just like people that like, like you remember that <laughs> one temple, they had the guy Dong Lu, who yeah. was like the, you know, drunk guy, right? Yeah. There was like a dude there that I think may have been him, because he was like, you know, there goes Tyler. Swinging around the staff and drinking rice wine. Yeah, so I, I have like know. symbols associated with them. We really need to go that way. Okay. What is this? They're the different flavors. Oh. There's a lot of different ones. Do you like buy them like this or do you buy them fresh? Uh, I don't know. Yay. Yay. So, last spot just outside of town called Zongao Beach. It's right on the other side of the ferry port, which mm -hmm. is like right there. You can see where you come in yeah. <laughs> uh, on the boats. Can't miss it. It's a nice little beach, you know? It's a cool place to hang out, sandy. Mm -hmm. Just uh, And chill. over here, we found these little curly bread snacks that um, are just originate on this island. Yep. That's so what it's read. a local snack you gotta yeah. try. So, so we, we got, got some, some and she even gave us some extra samples of different flavors. To try, and they so. were only 60 NTD. It's pretty good. It is. Break into those bad boys. They're good boys. Good boys. <laughs> Look at these. Do you know what they're called? Uh... <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> You, uh, you tell us in the comments about them. Yeah, tell us in the comments. What are these guys called? It's, uh, I don't know the name, but we read about it. And it was like, you gotta try them, so. These ones we got are brown sugar. Yeah, they had a few different flavors, like 14, I think they said. Yeah. Yeah. And that was just at that one. They sell these on every corner here. Yeah. I was hoping they were, like, fresh, but I don't know. Those are delicious. I mean, it's pretty good. It's like... A, a crunchy sweet potato ball with sugar on it. To me, it tastes like a heavily buttered uh, wheat dough that's been twisted and baked. And then in this case, heavily glazed with brown sugar. To me, it tastes like the sweet potato balls. If you haven't seen the sweet potato balls, check out like a couple of our, I don't remember what night markets we tried them in in Taipei, but we tried a bunch of street food and it's definitely in there somewhere. <laughs> I'll figure it out and put a link up top. They're delicious. Yeah, they gotta be terrible for you though. They're definitely fried, yeah. Okay, that was Zhao Liocho Island. So much fun. Such a fun, like, couple day trip. Uh, I would definitely recommend the side of the island that we did on the first day. Maybe like a couple stops here, but a lot of that coastline was, it was whatever. But yeah. the original spots we went to, so gorgeous, so amazing. Those rocks today were pretty cool, and a couple of the beaches. Yeah, but get a scooter. Get a scooter if you're gonna do this side of the yeah. island. Definitely recommend that, but the others are totally walkable and even worth walking, I'd say. Very cool. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in, I think we're going to Tainan next, right? Yeah, and Ooh. if you like our video, watch another one. It helps us out. Yeah, thank you. Bye.